Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 34, and I'm going to discuss integration by parts. So this is rule 1, and I'm going to discuss the example of the rule 1, which I proved in the previous video. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So the previous videos, which are relevant to this, are number 29, where I discussed the fundamental theorem of calculus, and as I said a moment ago, number 33, where I proved integration by parts, or the first rule for integration by parts. So as a recap, there are two different ways of writing it. What we saw was, if we look at the right hand side, just to read it out, is the integral of the product of u dv dx integrated dx is equal to the boundary term uv integrated at the boundaries, of course, minus v du dx dx. So we're integrating the product of a function and a derivative. And what we're able to do is transfer the derivative to the other function at the cost of a minus sign and also the cost of this particular boundary term. The more usual way of writing it, or the more common way of writing it, is in this uv notation here, where we, uh, we ignore, we, we use the primes rather than the actual derivatives themselves. So, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to perform integration by parts on the, f on, the, uh, on the following function. So, integrating from 0 to infinity of x times e to the minus x dx. Now I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do it firstly by this way and then by this. It's the same thing but it's perhaps a different way of looking at it. Okay, so the first thing we need to notice is we need to work out what is, we'll say, u and what is v. So if we look at, let's say, minus e to the minus x. Okay, well that, if we look at that, that is the derivative d dx of e to the minus x. That's the first thing we need to note. So what we actually have here is our function v. Okay, that's our function v. Of course it's a function of x. Okay? So next, we look, well, what's our function? What's our function u? Well, u of x is simply going to be what's left over, which is x. All right? Done. So now, what we need to do then is work out what is v times du dx, and we integrate that. So, we'll, well, what's du dx going to be? du dx is clearly going to be equal to 1. Okay, and we'll say dv dx, uh, dv dx, we don't actually, we don't actually need, okay, because that's what, that's what we're going to be calculating. So, we just need du dx for the moment. So, let's plug it in and see what happens. That means, by using our, um, by using our, we'll say, the expression on the right hand side, we have minus, actually I'll, I'll do it with the boundary term first, so if we have plus x times minus e to the minus x integrated between 0 and infinity, and we have to take away from that the integral from 0 to infinity of minus e to the minus x multiplied by d dx of x integrated dx, okay? So, um, yeah, so th there's, a, there's our boundary term and there's, there's what's left over. So the boundary term, uh, where is it here? I'm just looking at my notes. The boundary term is simply going to be minus x e to the minus x integrated between at our boundary 0 and infinity. And then we're going to have plus the integral of e to the minus x dx. Because d dx of x, as I said a minute ago, was 1. And if you plug in the boundaries there, it, you'll find that the answer is equal to plus 1. Very straightforward. Now, just to do it in the, the other notation, and this is the way I would usually do my integration by parts. I know that the terms I need are I need u, I need u prime, I need v prime, and v. Okay, so you need to select what is, what is u and what is v. And I said a moment ago, the best way to do it is look at which is the easier derivative to do. So in this case, we select u is equal to x. We differentiate it and get 1. We know that v prime, in this case, is e to the minus x. We difference, or we integrate that, we get minus e to the minus x. So here are our four terms that we need in order to do our integration by parts. So the answer is simply going to be uv integrated at our boundary minus the integral of uh, v u prime. Okay? So that's going to be equal to minus x e to the minus x integrated at our boundaries. And we're going to have plus our boundary term again, or excuse me, our integral of e to the minus x times 1 times dx, which of course is going to give us 1 again. 
Okay, so that's all I've got to say about that. I hope it's straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel and you might also visit universityphysictutorials.com.